Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the Austin Lindsay channel. So I had a project where I had to shoot a group of chunk bars for an Instagram image. And I wanted to show you just kind of the process and the setup. Uh, this isn't uh, super high end retouching or anything like that. It's more of what I could get done in the time that I had to do it. And I thought I would just film this video and show you some tips and tricks and share some knowledge with you along the way. So enjoy. So something I thought I would mention is I have this older tripod head and it's just a fluid head for video, but it doesn't require a plate. It just has the quarter 20 stuck inside it. I do have a newer one here. You can adjust this one a little bit more intricate for photo and you have a plate on here and you have to make sure that that doesn't get lost. So sometimes when I'm doing like a run and gun type of thing, I like having a tripod head that doesn't have a plate on it. That way I can just screw it in really easily and I'm good to go. All right, since we're gonna line this poster board up for a floor and a wall, what I'm doing is I'm using these super flags that I use for almost every one of my shoots, but I'm using it just as a base because I have a white flag that'll bounce light and I'm sure I'll use that to balance and fill in the shadows. But you can grab these uh, C-stand knuckles, same thing, super flag, and uh, this will allow you to position the wall in any way you want and then you can tighten these down and it'll lock it down so it doesn't move. And then what I'm gonna do is take this one, lean it up against here, and then I'm gonna clamp it on here so that it doesn't move, and then I can align this one right up to the bottom so there's no white showing. So the reason I take care when I open the packages is because I like to put the uh, product back inside if I'm able, and then I can close this up. And if I ever need to, I can just glue or tape that. And then I have a fully packaged product that I can use to shoot the package if I need to. Another handy piece of kit for photography is these blowers. They market them for lenses and sensors, which are amazing for, but they're great for if you get small little pieces of things on your set. You can just use this to blow them off the set. So here's the setup. This is pretty much how it looks. I've been trying to put each chunk near its uh, packaging so you can kind of tell what belongs to what. We'll talk about the lighting really quick. Uh, this light is not being used. It's for YouTube stuff. Same thing with this one. And the only two lights I'm using is this uh, Einstein and this Profoto here. And for the Profoto, what I have going on is I, I'm holding this snoot here because this is a Bowens mount snoot and just, uh, I don't have any Bowens to Pro Photo adapters. So I'm holding this snoot on to make the light harder. Right here, the light is kind of softer and in comparison to the inspiration image, the light is harder, the shadow on the edge is harder. So I'm using the snoots to make the light smaller and that makes the shadow harder. Sorry for the fan noise, by the way, this Profoto has an extremely loud fan and I'm not currently sure how to turn the modeling light off. These lights are pretty new to me. So this is your first light, um, just as a snoot for your main light to make the shadows hard, smaller kind of contrasty light source. And then our second light is this Einstein light and this is shining on the ceiling and just bouncing on the ceiling, actually kind of like you can see this light doing here. That's what it does when it strobes and that just kind of creates some ambient light. And this thing right here is blocking the light from hitting, well, it's blocking the flash, direct flash from going down and hitting the actual objects. Uh, if it does, you'll see another shadow on the other side. And I don't want that. I just want the one clean shadow coming from camera right. I just turned the Profoto light off and in comparison, here's the sound from the Einstein light. It's way quieter. Anyway, so the way I have this thing hooked up is I have just this Manfrotto, just a, it's kind of a specialty clamp. On the end here, there's a ball clamp or a ball mount. 
and on the end of the ball mount normally is a cold shoe which you can use to mount a flash somewhere i've taken that off and it's a quarter 20 thread adapter and i've just put it on the end of this magic arm but that is what's holding this up and these are really cool because there's only one point of tension is just this uh, elbow here so you can loosen this up a little bit and get it positioned wherever you want and you tighten just this one point and then everything stays put. All right, everybody, hopefully this is entertaining and informative. Consider sharing this video with another photographer friend if they're interested in this type of content. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.